guys, this is Andy from Tech Store, your tech guide, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically rip apart the base of the Acer Aspire E3 112 as well as the 111 series of laptops. These are the 11.6 inches netbooks that Acer had launched around two years back. And if you have a faulty keyboard or hard drive or RAM or you want to replace a Wi Fi chip or an SSD, this is the video that you need to watch. Now, if your laptop is something like this, the color might be different here. Uh, when it's opened up, this is the way it looks, and um, the base is something like this. Then you need to watch this particular video. So let's see how it goes. All right, so you need to have these tools: uh, a good screwdriver set, a prior, and a tweezer if possible. You can get, and ideally, I always suggest to have a partition box like this to keep the different screws. All right, so the first thing that we do is flip the laptop. And uh, we basically need to remove all the visible screws over here and uh, put it in the compartment box. Let's start with the hinge screw. So once uh, you've removed all the screws, you just need to start prying. And the base cover will give away very comfortably. It's not all that difficult actually and you'll have the entire uh, this is the motherboard this is the hard drive this is the wi-fi chip this is the battery so first thing first we will have to remove the battery here uh, this is the battery notch okay just need to remove it before starting any operation this is the keyboard connector you need to remove it if you want to replace the keyboard let us first uh, replace the hard drive now the hard drive is uh, placed over here and uh, you just need to remove it like this and uh, the hard drive can be replaced. Now this particular hard drive is a 2.5 SATA hard drive and uh, you can replace it with a SSD solid state drive uh, 2.5 SSD and uh, fit it inside. So just take a similar hard drive and do it. This is the Wi-Fi chip over here. Just need to remove this one screw and uh, the Wi Fi chip will give away. So just remove these two antenna wires and uh, put it aside. Now, coming to the battery, people want to replace the battery. There are some screws that you need to remove. So the battery will basically give away like this. This is the battery. If you want to replace the battery of the Acer Aspire laptop that you're working on, AC13C34 is the part code. You can take a similar battery and replace it. You need to remove uh, these uh, battery folders basically. Ideally, just place them where they are, like this, so that you don't get confused. Okay, coming to the motherboard now, you need to remove the touchpad connector and uh, there are some screws holding on. This is the VGA uh, cable connector, you just need to remove this small sticker over here. Just remove it very gently and uh, need to remove the connectivity. So once you remove it, and this is the speaker connector. So people who want to replace the speaker, just need to remove uh, this particular connector and remove the speaker from this particular point and uh, you can replace the speaker also. So speaker over here is not held by any uh, screw basically. First we need to remove this screw, this uh, particular part of the speaker. Some gluing is there, nothing else. So you need not worry. Because we need to go all the way up to the keyboard, remove this touchpad connector also otherwise just remove it like this and the speaker is out you can replace the speaker also coming to the motherboard three screws you need to remove to get access to the motherboard so remove it you see where the memory is this is where the RAM is played. You just need to remove uh, the RAM by loosening these two notches. 
removing the RAM, taking a similar RAM like this, this is a DDR3L low voltage 4GB DDR3L that they have given. You can take a 8GB DDR3L 1600MHz and uh, insert it. So let me just put it back here as it is and uh, let us keep the motherboard aside for the time. Now you can uh, see that uh, the keyboard is basically buried deep within inside and uh, there are these uh, notches that are holding on to this particular thing. So we need to remove this metal plate that exists after which we'll be able to replace the keyboard. Now we need to remove uh, the two screws over here holding onto the hinges and uh, one screw over here because that is it is holding onto the plate. So remove this one screw. It's a very small screw so you have to keep it separately so that you can differentiate and you need to open the hinges and then this hinge over here you need to, need to use uh, this kind of a prior to basically remove this entire metallic plate so start removing the plate like this to insert there will be a lot of crackling sound to remove this stick ring also you need to also remove these two screws of the touchpad which are holding on I don't know why they make it so complicated. Uh, the touchpad has been removed completely now. Be very careful because the screen is visible here, so might not damage it. And uh, now see. And the plate is out. So once this plate is out, uh, you need to take the keyboard, which is fitted inside and uh, it will also be holded, uh, held by some rudders so just need to remove them all this just to basically replace the keyboard that's it so how much pain you need to go through it's in front of your eyes so once the keyboard has been removed this is where the keyboard is you need to take a new keyboard this is the new keyboard that we have in place and uh, just need to place it back just press it so that it tries to be as inert as possible but don't press too hard because the screen is just behind the keyboard here so be very very sure and uh, now I need to take the keyboard plate just need to place it back where it was put the hinges back press them and uh, we need to put the screws back all right so now we need to place the speakers the speaker is now placed in its position now we need to place the motherboard The arrow marks are the points where you are going to put the screws of the motherboard. Put the VGA cable back. The speaker connector and the keyboard. Just remove this notch like this and just insert it and just press it like this. Keyboard will fit fine. Come into the Wi Fi chip. To 
place the UG cable properly otherwise the opening and closing will be a problem so place it like this as you can see and then insert the cable now coming to the hard drive just place the hard drive like this and we are good to go we need to now put in the battery for which we need to place its holders first put in all the screws of the battery and then you need to put the batteries connected back on the motherboard all right so you're all set we just need to put in the base pack just need to keep pressing all right friends so we have uh, replaced the keyboard of the Acer Aspire Gis E1 E3112 series of laptop and this is the way the keyboard is going to look because uh, the original keyboard uh, was completely pasted inside and uh, fixed basically so otherwise which you have to replace the entire touchpad which is again a very costly affair so during the process we've also shown you how to basically replace the RAM replace the hard drive with the SSD replace the Wi-Fi chip the motherboard basically everything uh, which is there in the base of the laptop has been removed Hope you liked the video guys, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much for watching guys.